tutorial we'll be showing you how can we make toast notification as soon as I click on that particular button the particular messages get highlighted and the particular messages toasts up on the front of your website in this uh, video we'll be sh uh, showing you how can you make both side of a toast one is on the normal and at the button of the screen as soon as you click the toast gives a shake effect and the particular button messages get highlighted so in this tutorial we'll see how can we make both of this thing so let's get started i've considered a blank template and i've already linked my style sheet file along with the toast.js file that is my javascript file so let me type toast notifications now we'll add a button tag with the class of button and the name of that particular message so button success and we'll be writing here some text toast notification okay now let me copy this two more time okay now let me write here danger name of the message and another is the info now below this we have to consider another div with the id name of container this is where the messages or the toast get highlighted this is the toast notification box this is the container this is the script file already linked here now let me first uh, design this particular button okay first uh, let me run the server before that let me run this server to see whether it's working or not okay you can just see here the buttons are highlighted now let me design this particular buttons so let me go to this style dot css file okay let me first minimize this and uh, okay now let's start coding designing this particular button so with is uh, 20 percent okay now margin to be 5 px okay padding to be as 10 px and uh, 2 px all right now display to be block it's already block displayed but uh, still we have to write display block and float left all right now we have to use this border it will be border all right let me arrange border is radius 5 px okay you can just see there is a circle shaped inside the border in the button and border to be none and outline to be zero or outline to be none first of all okay outline to be none all right now let's see what can be done here okay first uh, let me go and design this particular buttons that is the success success info and danger so background color it will be i've already used here the success color all right now let me give it a color text color that will be the black you can just see the combination color is black okay let me give letter spacing okay with 20 percent fine now let's see letter spacing to be 0 0.1 rem okay all right okay now let's define these structure tiles for danger and info button so let me do this we're just using the same thing i'll be copying the same thing info only the color will be changed here let me copy this thing right now let me copy the color from here danger the colors the front color the back end color it's up to you you can do it by your own self now the info tag 
let me copy once again all right paste it here let me copy the color for info okay okay till here actually the front end of that particular thing is already completed you can just see here okay let me refresh this thing you can just see it's already completed now we'll be moving to the okay cursor to be pointer so that once anybody get highlighted you can just see a hand signal have come here so this means cursor to be pointer now let's get started with the uh, script first uh, first let me check whether the script is working or not it's connected to it or not let's see let me reload the page okay okay you can just see that particular alert is uh, working so my javascript file is ready to be used so these three buttons consist of the button class so the first idea of implementing in javascript will be that i'll be considering a variable uh, button info and i'll be using query selector to select all the classes or all the instances which are starting with the button class so query selector all of what dot button okay now i'll be using a for loop iteration over all the button classes variable i equals to 0 i is uh, less than info dot length i plus plus and we'll be using an add event listener that is the click event listener to this particular button so as soon as i click on that particular button that particular button gets fired up and uh, it will show me that particular attribute of that particular button so just see let's see check here for uh, instance just give you an uh, alert maybe alert message so that okay uh, before that sorry guys i have to write an attribute method to check whether the button is coming or not so let me copy it success okay this will be danger this will be the info okay guys now let me alert the message whether all the things are in the right direction or not this dot get attribute uh, to, okay this is the this dot uh, get attribute function and what we want from here from that link that is the data attribute now let's see whether it's working or not let's go to our live server let's run the project okay just click here you can just see that success particular is being highlighted now let's check for the the danger is being highlighted the info that particular messages are being highlighted okay fine now let me use a variable for this uh, let's see what can be done i think so it's better to give a valid variable name let me give it status let me give it status okay now we'll be using get toast notification this is a function name we'll be using this get toast notification all right and we'll be passing the status that is whether it is a success whether it is danger whether it is the info message now i'll be creating a function let me first comment it function to get the particular toast notification messages all right so let me write this function get toast notification and we'll be passing the status as argument now in this argument we have to create a particular element right we have to create this particular element it went once i'll click here you can just see in that particular container class okay i think so i have uh, misspelled the word of container need to fix it inside this container it will get highlighted let me first fix the container name it should be t-a-i-n-e-r -E okay now let's go to toast messages now i have to create an element a diff tag so let's see how can we do this variable node 
document dot create element div okay document dot create element div all right now node dot class list we want to add message class to this particular div container another thing is that we need to add an active status also so variable text equals to document dot create text node what text we want to highlight here it will be shown here text node when we can pass the status status whether it is info danger success now node dot append child text okay now document dot get element by id where we want to display this particular div tag it will be inside the container id it will be inside this container id so let's say container dot append child node so this is the entire div tag when appending here okay now this is the main function of creating the div tag so just see once i create here you can just see in the inspect element a particular class of message is being highlighted right again i'll click a danger class another click info class is being highlighted so first let me define the message class to display it so let's say position to be fixed width to be 190 px it uh, you can just verify according to your specification this is up to you margin of 5 px uh, padding to be 40 px and 0 all right color to be black okay font size uh, one rim okay all right now top 30 percent from top and to display it into 30 percent variable so just let's see once i click see it is being displayed as success info right now we need to make this particular class along with the status and we need to add active class so that one can be active at a time so let's see class dot add status it will be showing the class list of success now just run this thing you can just see the uh, color changes success danger close notification okay now let me change the width and height you can make it your own side let's see whether it's looking good or not left 50 percent 40 percent actually we will leave 40 percent right let's run this thing okay define okay let me work with the width of this particular thing let's make it 90 let's say okay still it's coming right text align we need to make uh, the alignment to be text align center okay let's say okay but still okay text align center let's see it will come okay it is aligned in the center okay now guys we have to use uh, an active class right we need to make an active class so that one particular element will be active at a time so for this we'll be using node dot class list dot add active so at a time only one class gets active still there there will be problem i'll show you how it can be done for this thing so let's see these are the uh, three class message status and active so let me run once again just see this success and active have come here now toast danger and active and toast info and active have come here so we'll be using a set timeout function Inside there we will consider a function 
okay this is the function and uh, let's see make make it for two seconds timeout and document dot query selector dot active one active I want to make it disabled so class list dot remove active all right now from here what can I do document dot get element by ID of the container class so as soon as that active gets disappeared I want that particular message box also to be disappeared from that particular container so doc container right now contain dot remove child contain dot child nodes of first that is zero all right so let me run this thing let me inspect here you can just see okay this is the container class right once I highlight it it gets out another class I'm highlighting it the active gets out and the message gets hidden so this is the way we can make now let me style this uh, way of transition effect we need to give for this thing so for this we need to style the particular thing so inside the uh, message box just comment this thing top 30 percent I'm using an animation of slide down to be three seconds I guess three second or two seconds okay forward now let me create a keyframe keyframe for this particular thing the webkit animation we are doing here now from top of minus 30 percent to top of minus 30 percent okay let me check whether it is coming or not okay make it for four second just let's see whether it's coming the style has been coming or not let's see okay what is the mistake what went wrong let me check it one second let me inspect this value let me check whether any errors are coming no error but uh, i think so i've made some mistake with the animation i need to check my animation for this what's the wrong thing i've done mm, let me check what is the wrong thing let me inspect it okay There's some problem okay the messages are being shown here but the animation is not working so there's some problem with the animation and left is this three second fine but what is the problem okay okay, okay. I've made a mistake I've made from top minus 30 to 30 so let's see the animation is coming here right the toast notification the particular info is coming here okay this is the main thing now we'll be working on bottom side screen animation so let me comment all this thing alright let me comment it both the thing now I'll be using right as 0 and bottom to be 0 so the animation of the message will be shown at the bottom of the screen let me copy this animation and change it the name let me write as bottom card as bottom okay but uh, actually bottom is already keyword so we cannot write bottom right so let me write here bottom card bottom card okay and bottom card so let's see this animation we'll be using transform translate Right, translate x okay minus 1px 1px to transform translate 1px 1px okay now let's me reduce this to 0 0.3 seconds and uh, in the night let us check whether it's working or not 
it's working but the shaking effect is not there so I have to use go to the animation once again just just to check this okay let me turn once again okay no actually I have to give a uh, translate translate x actually it should not be translate translate x direction it should be minus 1 px and uh, translate x to be 1 px in order the animation to be successful now let's turn this thing okay you can just see there is a shaking effect right okay once i just see there is a shaking effect so guys this is all about the toast notification if you like my tutorial please like and subscribe and if you have got any comments regarding the video and how can it be much more useful please share with me in the comment box i'll be ready to help you all so thank you guys